Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is going to be my first of a series of videos on vintage low cows. It's not for everybody. If you're not into the vintage stuff, feel free, just close her out. But for those that are interested, this guy was uh, real prominent in the, in the 90s, early 2000s uh, because of the Howard Stern Show. Before we go any farther, the, all the audio from this clip comes from Lou Sassoul. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check out the entire seven-hour compilation he has. But Mark Harris is, a, is an interesting figure. Very interesting figure. He, he was in his, I want to say, mid to late 30s when he first rose to prominence. He married a woman by the name of Martha Ray. Martha Ray was an entertainer from Hollywood back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. She was much, much older. When they, by the time they got married, he was already. He was in his mid to late thirties. She was approximately seventy-five years old, roughly. He married her um, for well, her fame. He he wanted the name, uh, the name recognition. He wanted to be in the parties, the limelight. So these are. I'm going to try to have some of my favorite clips in this in this little video segment, and I'll probably end up doing a couple of videos on Mark Harris. He was a pretty interesting character. But this is going to start out, this is one of my favorite clips right at the beginning of this montage, so let's get into it. Want to get Mark Harris in here? Gary, bring in Mark Harris, husband of Martha Ray, the 60-some-odd-year-old the comedian, comedian. 60? <laughs> How old? generous. <laughs> Hey, Mark, how old is your wife? How old is my wife? Yeah. 76. She just looks younger. Nice glasses. Well, ever since I did your show, I could use them. Why? <laughs> well, talking about masturbation is one thing, but this bisexuality, your friends get too close for comfort. I mean, everybody's getting closer. What do you mean? Everyone want, all the guys it's want really you now? It's really unbelievable. You admitted to being bisexual on the air. Yeah, but I'm, again, I have to tell you, I'm not involved with anybody. Woo! The perfume. No, no, I don't have it on. That's don't just, say that. Listen. You're listen. lying. That's you, toilet water. My, no, no. My friend outside yeah. I was with he and his wife yesterday. Yes. And he owns a perfumery. So he's, perfumery. Your, he's bringing you a whole basket. He's outside. Beautiful only you, know, only you know words. You, Robin. Only you know words like perfumery. perfumery. No, you wouldn't know that? Yeah, perfumery. Let me, let me tell you about... Uh, only a guy who's with other show. guys would know the name perfumery. Then you should remember. You know we share two women what in common. Happened? Wait, you and I share two women in common for quite a few years. Who is that? Sally Needleman. Yeah. Her daughter. You remember? Yeah. Did them for many years. You did what for many years? Do you, do you know them? No. You don't know Sally Needleman? Sally Needleman? Yeah. I have an aunt who's uh, named that's, Sally. That's yeah. Sally Needleman. Yeah, what about her? Now, what do you mean you, know you did your, her? know your I, aunt's last name? No, yeah, but I, I mean, I, I was like, referring to my aunt. Very nice lady. What do you mean you did them? Years ago. You I was did her? Yeah, and her daughter. You, I was you did her and her daughter? If you look. My cousin and my Roberta. aunt. You did, yeah, you yes, did her. Yes, What it do you mean you did her? I'm going to explain it. If yeah. you open up your bar mitzvah album, I do believe I did their hairdos for the affair. Oh, you were a hairdresser? Yes! Yeah, well, that's classic Mark Harris right there. He, um, he, he is a man of, back in the 90s, of modern sexuality. He, he did not um, conform to, to, to standards, even um, in uh, differing circles from my own. Mark was into older women. I'm talking 65 plus, old enough, you know, potentially to be his grandmother. He was into men, a lot of men, and if it was someone that could get him fame or get him time in front of a spotlight, he was there. That was who he wanted to be with. Now, this guy's pretty open about his sexuality. That's something that, that really made him stand out over the years. So he, he had no problem bragging about his exploits or, or discussing them. But he was always indirect about it. So let's keep listening. Before the garment sense, I didn't know how to suggest that she's a lovely woman. <laughs> oh, but, man. Yeah. Oh, I want to see those hair Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. On the airline, I go home. Listen to this. <laughs> I thought he was having sex with my aunt. I go I home. Yeah, yeah, your, he did your hair started straightening out. Right. 
Anyway, yeah, they used to fight who goes first. But Sally was a big tipper. I go home, and the, the captain... I doubt that. No, she... Yeah. She Cap, was. Yeah. The captain uh, comes uh, to me in the middle of the flight. He says, I heard you on Stern this morning. He says, you're really great. So I said, you heard everything about masturbation and bisexuality, and you're still talking to me? He says, yeah, he says, you're really great. I really love that I show. I heard you thought I was mean to you. You know something. I wasn't mean to you. You said you were a bisexual. I asked you uh, yeah. if you had sex with men while you were I living would, with Martha would, Ray, and you said no. You no. masturbate. Right. Captain, I didn't hey, know. Hey, I didn't don't have the say that word. I didn't know. Hey, no, hold it. Mark. Mark. Mark Captain, listen to me. Mark. Mark, me. Mark. Listen to me. Yeah. Don't use that word on the air. Don't. What is the replacement? I'll have to throw you out. What is the Breast. replacement? You oh, wouldn't know any other oh, names for oh, that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Mark Harris is married to Martha Ray. Yeah. Obviously, the marriage now, is a bit of a. Why do you have to get married? You don't. Martha sleep loves together. this song. Yeah. I think that Martha married him. I'm not sure why, but it makes no sense. If he's a homosexual... No, 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 no. Bisexual. But, right, right. but you didn't marry Martha for sex. You know something? We were giving this... How uh, big are Martha's breasts? Listen, oh. we were giving this uh, oh. at least... What cup breasts. is she? What cup is Martha? I don't know. More like a bowl. But I want to tell you something. No, really. What, what cup I don't is know. Martha? Why she don't you know? She was the biggest in Hollywood, really. She had the biggest breasts in Hollywood? The biggest breasts in Hollywood, Martha Ray. And you don't know your wife's breast size? No. You do not? No, but I'm going to ask her. Yeah, I mean, how could you not you know, know? Have you ever seen Martha yeah, Ray don't naked? Don't you have to go buy her bras and stuff? Have you seen her naked? Well, of course. You have? Of course. But yet you claim you've never made love to your own wife. I wouldn't say never, but up to date, no. Not now. But you have she seen her naked. She had five strokes since we married. Where did you? I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, there you go. That's the, that's the type of woman Mark uh, wanted to marry. A woman who was so old and, and couldn't even get around anymore. That was exactly what he was into. Mark, um... Mark, Mark really rose to fame because of her. He he ended up going, you know, because because of her name, getting on the Stern Show. He got invited to Hollywood parties. He he tried to make a, make a name for himself, but Mark was a unique man, and he had no shame. In a way, he's kind of like Cyrax, and he does something that's morally reprehensible, and just keeps going like nothing's wrong. It didn't bother him one bit that everyone knew he was with a 75-year-old woman exclusively for her money, and he had never slept with her. Let's get back into it. I'd have a couple of strokes if I now was married. Now you're going to say you're, you're married. married to me. Wait yeah. a minute, Mark. No, you Robin, listen. come in here, yes, you every... change your story. Mr. Controversy, <laughs> because you want to know about my sexual life totally here. No, the marriage was consummated, but you don't have to go into whole... Oh, so you did have sex. The marriage yeah, was consummated. Yeah, but you get so tacky about it. You he, know? So he did have sex Yeah, with he's her. been telling us all along yeah, but that you know, he didn't. I didn't even know who <laughs> Howard Stern was. And he, the first time I'm on the and show, he's married by being big mouth. Were you aroused by being with a woman who was in her late 70s? Oh. It's not so much aroused, it's Martha Ray, and she's really some woman. Is she in her late 70s? Seven. Yeah, see, there you go. He said he's got nothing to do with arousal. He, he's with her because she was Martha Ray. That's all he needed. Didn't care about anything else. He's six now, yeah. Right. And you made love to a 76-year-old woman? To Martha Ray. Yes. Martha Ray, yes. That's different. That's different. <laughs> now no, I've seen it. pictures now of Martha. I mean, it. she's a very old woman. Well... And, I mean... That's amazing. Relative. She looked and you were great you were fully aroused through. during this? Yeah, what? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I rise for all occasions. All right. How low did I gotta pull up a picture so you guys can see what this woman looked like. Give me one second. This is the woman he married. Wheelchair bound in her uh, mid to late seventies, and there he is back in the day attending a Hollywood party. This is from nineteen ninety three. So this is still early on. He hadn't been married to her very long. This guy was a monster. Let me get back to the video. Loaded were you? Were you drinking at the time? No, no. <laughs> you were no, not on a drunken binge? Not on a drunken binge. And when was this? This was no. the night of your wedding? The night of your yes. wedding you made love? Mm -hmm. And you have not made love since then? Maybe once or twice. I didn't mark it down on the calendar. Did you but use a the, paper bag? Let me tell you something. Wait, did they do it before? The end. Uh, did you do it before you got married? Was there premarital sex? You see, that's just it. Let's cut off the sex business here. Why? Let me tell you. Why? People Magazine. You're open your about show, this kind of stuff. Yeah, just a minute. People Magazine. We're yeah. the end issue of December 92, Martha and I. So they come over the house. They're yeah. talking about Howard Stern and everything. And then uh, they're interviewing Martha separately. And uh, they say, yeah. well, uh, Martha, what about this bisexuality? Right, right. And uh, she looks, yeah, what about it? And you'll read the rest about it in yeah. People. But she says, he's not a murderer. 
you know, and she gave a very uh, uh, good... Uh, yeah, but I understand what you're saying. I'm just curious. You guys did not have premarital sex. That's why you had to get married. Martha wanted to right. have, make love to you. Right, she's right. She's from so she was holding out. World. She said, yeah. if you want me, you have to marry me. She didn't say it. Yeah, Martha, I think she just wanted companionship. I think she was lonely at the end of her life. She didn't want to die alone. She had been the center of attention for decades. And here comes this young guy who's seemingly talented, well spoken, well well uh, well versed in his social cues, and he's all of a sudden interested in her. I frankly can't blame her, but it's pretty predatory. This guy was a he was a sick man, and it gets worse. That way, but she is from old. And you had your wedding. You had a church wedding, a, a no, ceremony. She ordered a rabbi in. Yeah. A rabbi. Mm. Where do you call for that? Is she Jewish? In Vegas. No, I'm her third Jewish husband. I see. So she had a uh, rabbi in. Right. You were married by a rabbi. Right. And that night, the two of you retired to your honeymoon suite. Did you carry After her a very over big the party. threshold? Did you carry no. her into the room? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you, you laid her down on the bed. Wait a minute. Did she go into the bathroom and slip into, you know, her pinoir? Yeah. Did she have a pinoir set? Get, I should really get the nurse here so she could give this full interview here. How she? <laughs> you mean a nurse? Martha for the occasion. She did prepare Martha for the occasion. Oh yeah, yeah. She oh. prepared her in what a nighty of some sort. A uh, beautiful uh, trousseau. A trousseau. Thought, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't get how this guy is so openly talking about it. The, the Martha had a a nurse that traveled with her, a nurse to care for her. That prepared her for bed with Mark the night they got married. That is absolutely disgusting. It's just despicable behavior. <laughs> so, so let, How let, many let, guys know it. the word trousseau? That's why you got to love Mark. So then she, Not she biblically, please. came out of the... Now, what were you doing? What did you do with yourself? He was Mark vomiting was in the men's room. I like to hear Howard's version of it. He was throwing up in I the mean, men's room. This is getting to be a movie. <laughs> Admit, though, that you were probably a little nervous to be making love to the great legend Martha Ray. I mean, uh, so, I mean, did you have a pair of pajamas on, or did, did you have you... satin jammies? <laughs> did I have satin? And you, you climbed. <laughs> so, so in other words, she climbs into bed. Oh, this is crazy. Now, no, are you in bed first? Sure are you in? <laughs> sure <laughs> is. Is. <laughs> Were you saying that to yourself as you climbed on top of that old woman? No, is this, this is all getting nuts. This is crazy. Are you going to play the song? Are you going to play the song? I'm getting to the song. Because yeah, I want to tell you. What are you in a rush? Remember. No, Martha happens to be one of the greatest singers of all time. I well, everyone know knows that. that. No, no, everybody you. doesn't. I knew that. And her ear is perfect. You is it? So you made love to her ear? Absolutely. So now she comes out of the bathroom. I don't know, man. 76 years old. There's no payoff big enough for me. <laughs> and you're laying in bed. You're laying in bed. And you were laying what? In your jammies or are you totally nude? Actually, I was totally nude. You were totally nude. No, yeah, let me I think don't about wear that. anything. You're laying there naked. <laughs> and Martha Ray anything. probably, is, you're a very attractive man. I think Thank that everyone you. would agree. Am I right, Robin? I would agree, yes. To see you laying there nude must have aroused her. That's like a banquet. Yeah. <laughs> Did she know you were nude? Was she able yeah. to identify that you were nude? Very okay, so, okay. So, you were, so you're laying there nude, I assume smoking a cigarette or uh, something no, I like don't that. Smoke. You do not smoke. No. And Martha Ray comes in on her own, uh, of her own fruition, or is she... Volition. Volition? Set up, wanna, <laughs> or is she you know, escorted, the closest, is she escorted into the, the room? Did the, the closest, nurse bring her in? Did the, the nurse bring her in? I was Just not in the room. I was saying goodnight to all the guests. Please, I see. Right? You were saying goodnight and, to the guests. Yes. And she was laying in the bed when you came in. she was already in bed. Prepared. Yes, she said goodnight. She was bathed and, and prepared. And the whole thing, yeah. And, and I think the closest you can get to the scene is watching Sunset Boulevard with right. Norma Desmond and William Holden, where they allude to the uh, moment. I see. Yeah. I see. So, it so was very romantic. You, she was laying there in her trousseau. You see, you only know trousseau. bang, 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 bang. No, she was yeah. in her trousseau. You walked in <laughs> and you said, my darling, I'm so happy. You remembered the word. No, I'm saying, yeah. you, my darling, I'm so happy to be married to the great Martha Ray. I'm, I love you. Thank uh, you so much. You've made me such a happy man. And then you were disrobed in front of her for all, for all, in all of your glory for her to see. The minute I walked into the room... She undressed you. I went into the bathroom part of it, the right. gold nugget, got undressed. I don't put a robe on. That's right. It. And you walked out naked. Into the room, yeah. Now, were the lights sort of <laughs> low, or was it fully lit? So you could see every wrinkle. What oh, lights? <laughs> Did you kiss every wrinkle? What lights? No lights. Hey, he's like, no way those lights were on. I didn't want to see that. <laughs> oh, Mark. <laughs> You completely dark. There are no wrinkles so when no you're one, laying down position. So nobody knows, even if you really did make love, you assumed you made love. You don't know what happened. It was so dark in there, you don't know who was in the room with you. 
<laughs> I know nobody else was there. Right. But why have you two not made love since that wedding night? Did something go wrong? In, in, well, besides the stress we've all been under, of right. course, uh, you know, the conservatorship, the Bette Midler case, which is going tremendous in our favor, and... Um, you know, five strokes she had. It's I been see. pitiful. So, in other it's words, you're very sad. You, and I see. But you're sticking by her. That's very admirable. Yes, I do. I love her. Half my uh, earnings go to the conservatorship now. <laughs> no. What it, earnings? It's the truth. truth. What, what earnings, earnings do you have? I'm not getting oh, into man. everything. What yet. earnings? You think I don't earn money? No. What do you what do? do? You, do? <laughs> you attend to Martha Ray. Yes, Martha most, pays you most of the time. And then you take half of your pay and give it back to Martha? I sang in Berlin six weeks ago. All right. You were paid for I that. Was paid. All right. Okay. Now, let's get... Yeah, that that that's going to be a whole entirely different video on, on itself. His uh, attempted musical career, the, uh, that 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 was a very very unique way for Mark to spend his time um, after he decided to marry Martha Ray. He uh, really enjoyed the spotlight, you could say. But I think I'm going to end this first video um, this far in this far in with Mark. Um, there are a few things I want you guys to take away from this if you got this far. Mark ended up uh, staying married to, to Martha until she passed away. When she passed away, she had a daughter. The daughter, up until a year prior or two years prior to, the, to, to her death, had been the sole recipient of Martha's entire estate. She had a very nice home in, in California and you know, different types of assets. Mark ended up getting all of it. Courts agreed that she was in the right state of mind when she changed the will. So Mark ended up living the rest of his days, or well, most of the rest of his days off Martha's money. Before he died, though, in the mid-2000s, he had already burned through all of her money and was penniless, just kind of bumming around uh, New York. So... We're going to get into that more next time, but I want to get you guys just some kind of background so when you listen to this stuff, you can get why he's a low cow. He really doesn't come across one at first as, as one at first. It's a little weird, but he's more than weird. He's definitely a low cow. I want you guys to uh, enjoy your day today. You know, uh, if you enjoyed the video, you're new here, appreciate you watching. Have a great day.